What is up everyone, this is Virginian Coaster Enthusiast and welcome to the another analysis video and today we will be talking about Busch Gardens Williamsburg's newest roller coaster called Pantheon and it is going to be the fastest multi-launch coaster in North America. I like the name Pantheon because it makes sense for the theming. Basically, Pantheon is a Roman temple for all gods. So I really love the name choice here. Definitely better than Candymonium. And this coaster will feature four launches, which I'll be talking about in a minute. And the thing about this coaster is I'm not really surprised about this addition because there's a website called bgwfans.com. They already leaked the coaster in every detail back in earlier this year. They revealed the train design, the layout, and everything. Exception for the color scheme and the name. And I'll be talking about the color scheme later. But anyway, let us experience the layout. Oh yeah, guess what? The park didn't release the point of view video by the way, so instead I'll be using the Intim's 305 No Limits 2 recreation. So you're starting off this layout with a gentle S curves before hitting the first launch which is 36 miles per hour. Going into the zero G winder with the slow speed, I hope it'll give you some hang time and then dropping down and immediately following by the two outer bank turns before hitting the second launch which actually has a launched airtime hill. Then you're going at the speed of 50 miles per hour making it into the top hat but you will not make it at all. So then you will fall back down and then launch at 61 miles per hour backwards into the 178 foot spike. And this will be an interesting experience. Then you fall back down and then hit the speed of 67 miles per hour going into a 180 foot top hat dropping at 95 degrees. And then you hit this high speed turn going at the full speed of 72 miles per hour. And then you hit this element that is very similar to Steel Vengeance which hopefully it will give you some good airtime immediately following by the zero G stall which is very unique to Virginia area. This should provide some good hang time then going through a series of turns into the final element which is the wall stall as BGW fans call it and then hit the brakes and the total track length is 3,300 foot of track and this coaster will feature two trains with 20 riders per train which is a decent capacity and what and I'm also hoping for is that this coaster will have some good theming. One more thing about the layout itself like each element represents the different gods like for example the second launch is mercury while the neptune will be the vertical spike which is pretty interesting and i can't wait to see how it plays out with the theming and everything and as for the color scheme itself like i like the color scheme choices here it is basically gold track with silver support like which i think is good it's a lot better than i expected when I first saw the color palette leak. And so for my final thoughts on this coaster, it is a great addition to Bush Gardens. And I'm really excited for it too. It's like one of my most anticipated roller coasters of 2020 because I'm most likely going to ride it next year. And this will be potentially in my top 15, potentially. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this analysis and I will and I will see you in the next analysis whenever the next park announces the next coaster. Peace.